Kami memilih untuk bekerja bersama masyarakat yang sebenarnya masalahnya banyak sekali. Kami mencoba berbagai alternatif supaya masyarakat bisa berpartisipasi terlibat di dalam proses perencanaan hingga proses pembangunan kampungnya kembali. We found a very disturbing social problem in the Philippines in one of the biggest garbage dump sites in our country, which is called Bayadas. Um, it's around 40 football fields big, there's half a million people living in the area, and most of them are victims of unfair trade. We have seen a problem which is identity issue. And this identity issue is not only relevant to young people, but also to other ethnic minority, because identity is something like you, you know who you are. And so when you know who you are, you can go forward, you can go to the future. I come from a community that also have no electricity. So we were looking at different ways of uh, alternative ways is, is, uh, instead of just waiting for the government to extend the grid and, and so on. Uh, Arkom bekerja bersama komunitas fokus di uh, di masyarakat yang terkena bencana, pasca bencana dan yang kedua kami bekerja di uh, masyarakat atau komunitas-komunitas yang ada di kampung-kampung miskin di perkotaan. Jam is uh, an ethnic minority group. They are the descendant uh, of the kingdom of Jamba. However, this uh, community or the Jam people, they uh, what we call they still they are still considered as marginalized group. So a lot of story that struck me first. I felt very hard in order to make sense of their past because I was born after the Khmer Rouge time. And we have trained around 800 artisans. So before, they used to earn around 20 cents a day for a whole day's work, but now they can earn as much as a minimum wage, especially for those who are working for full time. It's very funny, or oh, it's an irony to say that some Malaysians have so much and some have no, none at all. For example, a typical Malaysian household uses about 5 kilowatts. But for, for this system in Tanjung Rambai that we installed, it applies to 18 households of Orang Asli in Tanjung Rambai. Di sini ada banyak sekali bangunan tradisi, bangunan tra heritage yang mungkin orang di sini tidak, warga di sini tidak. Ah, biarin akan hancur sendiri atau dijual. Sayang sekali, anak cucu kita nanti kehilangan cerita. One of the biggest things that we can explore is to think of how um, in Air Asia Foundation's supply chain or value chain, how social enterprises can answer to a particular need. Because one of the things that we really are trying to do is to engage the market. And it is really through selling the products that we can be more sustainable. We are hoping that Asia Foundation will uh, support us in terms of um, getting a revolving fund so that the community can do a higher purchase uh, system uh, for just for the turbine. Uh, for like, then they, they will uh, pay it within a three, three years period. So more community are uh, uh, able to get this system instead of just waiting for a grant uh, to be given to them. I think this is a good chance that we can connect with each other, Air Asia and the Chang Identity Project in order for Air Asia to introduce this to the larger audience. Uh, when Tony Bung was uh, doing this work, we came across a lot of people and uh, we realized that we are not alone. There are people also doing this in Thailand, in Cambodia, in Philippines, in Indonesia, and so on. So, uh, in the future, we hope that uh, the technologies and also the experience that we have can be also be uh, shared amongst uh, groups, communities, 
uh, in the As Southeast Asia, especially in ASEAN region lah. Saya mengajak banyak sekali banyak teman-teman arsitek untuk kita jangan belajar jauh-jauh ke Eropa atau mana. Belajarlah kepada masyarakat. Belajarlah pada nenek moyang kita. Karena di situ jati diri kita. Dan ini penting sekali untuk masa depan uh, arsitektur Indonesia.